Hey guys, it's Mrs. McCallie. This is our, our new story for the week. It's A Different Pond by Bao Fai. Can't wait to read it with you. The illustrations are beautiful. I know you're gonna love them. Dad wakes me quickly so mom can keep sleeping. It will be hours before the sun comes up. In the kitchen, the bare bulb is burning. Dad has been up for a while making sandwiches and packing the car. Can I help, I ask? Sure, my dad whispers and hands me a tackle box. The street lights look brighter and the roads aren't so busy. Before the sun comes up, dad turns on the heater and tells me stories. A kid at my school said my dad's English sounds like a thick, dirty river, but to me, his English sounds like a gentle rain. We stop at the bait store on Lake Street. It always seems to be open. You're here really early, the bait man says. I got a second job, my dad explains. I have to work this morning. On a Saturday, the bait man asks. My dad nods. I feel the bag of minnows move. They swim like silver arrows in my hands. It's still dark when we get to the pond. We park the car and climb over the divider between the road and the trees. My dad holds my hand and walks ahead through the tangle and scrub. Stop where I step, he says. Step right with me. I am thinking about what dad told the bait man. If you get another job, why do we still have to fish for food, I ask. Everything in America costs a lot of money, he, he explains. I feel callous on my hands when he squeezes mine. Sometimes there's another man at the pond. He speaks English like my dad and likes to tell funny jokes. And sometimes there's another man and he shows me a colorful lore collection. This time it's just me and dad. It's a little bit cold. I rub my hands together and yawn and look up at the faint stars like freckles. As dad sets up the clearing, I gather small tiny twigs for a fire. They need to be dry and clean. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then ten more for later. I put some rocks in a circle and set up the twigs like a volcano. Dad reminds me. I set one end of each twig down and the other up, leaning them against each other as they rest and they hold each other up. I get it. This is for light. With just one match, Dad nods. You want to put a minnow on the hook, Dad said? I want to help, but I shake my head no. I don't want to get I don't want to hurt that little fish, even if I know it's about to be eaten by a bigger one. My dad smiles. He isn't upset with me. Dad hands me a sandwich, cold bologna, between two pieces of bread. Careful of the spicy stuff, he says. There's half a peppercorn, like a moon split into two, studded into the meat. I used to fish by the pond like this when I was a little boy in Vietnam, Dad says, biting his into his sandwich. With your brother, I ask? He nods and he looks away. Dad, tell me about the war, but only sometimes he and his father, he and his father talked about his brother. One day, his brother didn't come home. The bobber dips in the dark and dad pulls, I got one, he says, almost shouting. And soon another. Can I help? He nods and he uses his two hands to help guide the fish into the bucket. The fish feel slimy and rough at the same time. Dad laughs at the funny face I make. Dad smiles, his teeth broken and white in the dark because we have a few fish and he knows we'll eat tonight. Time to go home. Dad must get ready for work. He washes his hands with a small knob of green and white soap. Then I do the same. I look at the trees as we walk back into the car. I wonder what the trees look like in the other pond in the country my dad comes from. By the time we get home, the sunlight's coming through the window. It's just a faint tint blue and gray instead of gold. At home, mom looks tired, but she smiles at the fish in the big white bucket. My dad changes his clothes and gets me to go ready for work. He pats me on the back and says to mom, our boy did a good job with the fire today. 
You learn so quickly, Mom says. Then she asks me to help with the fish before she has to go to work. I'm sad that she and Dad must leave, but not too sad. I know that later on they will both be home. Look after your brother, Mom reminds me. My brother and sisters, she means. Then she gets on her bike and she goes to work. I am not a baby, I think to myself. I help catch the dinner. Tonight, we are all at home. Dad will put rice in the cooker and Mom will fry the fish on both sides until they are crispy. I will bring out the jar of fish sauce that has flecks of chili pepper and carrots floating on the top. At the table, my brother and sisters will tell funny stories. Mom will ask about my homework, and Dad will nod and smile and eat with his eyes half closed. Good fish, he will say to me. And I will smile and nod, and later, when, when I sleep, I will dream about the faraway ponds. The end. Hope you enjoyed our book. I hope you enjoyed the book, A Different Pond. It's a really sweet story about a father and a son who went fishing. I hope you really enjoyed the story, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.